Hey everyone, this is Hilary DeFries of The Marketing Mom and glad you're here today with me. Today I'm training on the topic of the five things that a mom can do to earn a living online. So we're talking about online means of earning an income. And why am I talking about this? Because, and just, just so that you know, before you jump off at the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing a little link for you if you are interested in starting one of the ways of um, earning income online. You just follow that link. It's hilaridefreitas.com forward slash EMP. All right. So back to the five things. And why is that important? Because, well, let's share my story. Um, I am my two daughters. One was born 2013. All right. So she's about almost four years old. She's going to be four in July. And I remember when I was pregnant with her, I was preparing to go on maternity leave. And in Trinidad, we have three months maternity leave. Right. So I was preparing to go on maternity leave. And I said to myself, I'm not coming back to work. I'm not coming back. I am leaving on maternity leave and I will be putting in my notice while on maternity leave because I was going to be able to leave my job earning online. Okay. I had jumped into an online marketing business and everything and I was working very hard at that goal, achieving that goal. So fast forward to three months later, my daughter is born three months and guess what? I had to go back out to work because obviously what I was doing was not making making anything that I could say I could leave my job. And then six months later, it happened. Six months later, I was given the opportunity to leave the company under um, what we call visa. And that allowed me the time and the opportunity to really focus on building my business with a little bit of a cushion. All right. It's not much, you know, voluntary separation is never ever much, especially if you're this young <laughs> in, the, in, in the work world. All right. But that was my story. And, you know, what I, I always thank the company for offering that voluntary separation because it did allow me the time to focus on the business while my children, well, while my daughter at the time was still young. And now to this day, we have our second daughter who just turned one and I am full time at home a work from home mom running successful businesses. All right. So it is possible, but it does start with a very small decision that it well, it starts with a big decision and, and small incremental steps. All right. So you're not going to become a millionaire overnight, which we all know. All right. But it takes a lot of time and effort. So what I want to share with you is five of the ways. And actually I have implemented most, if not all of them, all right, probably there were any, there's actually only one that I have not implemented in terms of using as income sources. And that's the thing that I want to share, especially with my moms. You're not, if, you, if you're in a job right now, you'd be doing one thing and you'd be focusing on that one thing. When you decide to start an online business, whatever business that is, what you very quickly realize is that you have to do different things in order to make up the pool right and you could eventually streamline your efforts but you you must realize very quickly that multiple streams of income is going to be your ticket out of your job all right so let's get into those five things all right so number one online retailing okay and i put this as online retailing because rather than network marketing okay because a lot of people think okay network marketing that's recruiting and everything but i'm in a network marketing company but all i do is sell product okay and i teach people how to sell product that's all i do because at the end of the day nothing happens until you sell something all right the money is in the selling of your products you must be able to sell products retailers all over the world all right when i look even in my country right the, the lebanese and syrians have came over to trinidad back in however how many ever years ago what did they do they sold cloth they sold things they sold things and that is the thing that when you're online you've got to have something to sell now if you're not in network marketing but you have your own product all right you have your own physical product you could set up an online store create your own distribution center do all the supply chain stuff or you can use a channel like amazon all right amazon marketplace yes they're going to be a few higher fees and a little bit of technical it took me a little while to actually understand how to navigate around it but it's still much easier presto shop is another one that i've utilized and that i've seen other moms utilize for like selling children's clothing all right a lot of moms get into the retail precisely because they were looking online 
all right, for things for their babies, things for their little children. And then they realize that a lot of these stores are run by moms. So they now are getting the ideas of, well, I could create my own online store and sell things. So if you have a craft and you sell craft, you make jewelry, for example, okay, um, hand, hand woven jewelry, for example, okay, with beads and all that stuff, you can sell that online and reach a wider, a much greater audience than say if you were just selling to your neighbors in your, you know in your neighborhood or selling to your friends in your church or wherever right wherever you you could possibly sell so online retailing that's one thing whether you're doing it via network marketing or whether you have your own business your own products that you can sell online retailing is one way of earning income online all right so the second one which catches a lot of things now when i first thought about this i said well website design and then i thought about content writing what that falls under the umbrella of is freelancing so i'm sure you've heard of fiber i'm sure you've heard of freelance i'm sure you've heard of upwork thousands of people all over the world are making money online by just writing for other people by doing their graphics for them by editing books by writing books all right so if you have a talent for example you're in you're being an accountant actually i did find um a link for an accountant on upwork right um so it's not just technical web design stuff and html and css no you can any skill that you have that these sites offer you can offer your services online and you get paid by other people who are looking for these services and what's interesting is that there are certain companies um that are medium to small medium to small companies all right maybe they're making 500,000 a month and we're talking US 500k a month 4,400k a month but they don't necessarily have the bandwidth to hire internally those are the type of companies that most likely would be looking for outsourcers those are freelancers that is a perfect avenue for you to 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 earn income perfect avenue and I know a lot of moms have done that especially in the realm of writing and editing and virtual assistants all right that is something because that's what a lot of moms they're very good at planning and organizing okay we know that right <clears throat> so the next one is affiliate marketing so as I said in the beginning of the video if you're interested in affiliate marketing the affiliate marketing program that I'm involved in is called elite marketing pro all right just to let you know that you can get more about that information at hillarydefreitas.com forward slash elite marketing pro it's coming up right at the bottom and you'll also see the link at the end of the video okay but affiliate marketing is not just with any one organization okay this is what I want to explain to you so let's take Amazon you shop on Amazon I shop on Amazon Amazon. and a lot of people they sell stuff on Amazon so Amazon is going to be something that's going to pop up a lot if you read a book all right for example you read a book online and you really like the book Amazon you could become an associate of Amazon and get a link all right with your associate ID or associate key I don't know exactly what they call it but basically you can get something like that and then anybody that clicks on that link all right you get paid a certain percentage of the sale of the book all right or the sale of the sneakers or the sale of the clothing or the sale of the cd player or the sale of the cell phone you get what i'm saying amazon is a marketplace so one of my associates who actually is a member of elite marketing pro he was heavily into golf all right so he would now he he utilized all of these ways so and as you can see it's not only moms that could benefit from this okay but he would go to garage sales buy items and then sell them retail online but his specialty was in golf all right and then he would also have his amazon associate link create a blog and talk about golf and sell those items through his blog all right getting an affiliate commission from Amazon for the sale of the golf items okay so you see how this works all right you've got a lot of moving parts here and actually inside of elite marketing pro it tries to bring together all those moving parts so that you understand how online marketing works how digital marketing works it's not just one product it's the whole gamut of it it's the blog it's the advertising it's it's the online retailing okay everything so affiliate marketing is a very powerful way and basically it's clicks so you share a link with somebody and you get 
paid a referral fee in consulting that's what they, it's called it's called a referral fee okay you refer um, a lawyer to somebody and the lawyer says great well I'll pay you a thousand dollars if the person takes my services all right there's always that clause and it's the same thing with Amazon Amazon will pay you if somebody clicks on the link and buys that's the only way they're able to pay you anyway remember nothing happens until somebody sells something all right so the fourth thing so we've done online retailing which we've seen loop back around into affiliate marketing we've done freelancing affiliate marketing and now I want to talk about the fourth thing which is blogging everybody wants to know how do you make money from blogging very simple you write blogs for other people so I write blogs for certain brands all right so a brand approaches me and that their brand they're trying to target a certain audience which happens to be the audience of, of moms that I'm targeting as well so I will write a blog post on their behalf and sometimes the contract could run from either one blog to a blog a, a month a blog a week whatever the case may be all right but that's what I do I write blogs on behalf of companies it's posted on my blog and they are able to use that in their marketing and guess what they pay me for writing that blog so that could be done for you as well you can write blogs for other for other companies all right so say for example you love travel all right and you like to talk about travel you could start writing about Hyatt and about different hotels and resorts that you visit and get them to pay you for writing that because that's marketing for them all right once you build up that audience and that base of following all right so that's blogging all right apart I'll be sharing with you other ways that you can monetize your blog in a in a subsequent video but that's one of the ways that you could earn money from blogging and it's a very quick and easy way actually all right and then the fifth one which I love personally I call it online tutoring all right now people have coined it coaching online coaching one-on-one -on -one coaching mentorship I like to call it tutoring because what we're doing is really teaching now when I was in college I used to tutor a lot of people in math right I I'm an engineer I'm a math whiz and everything and for whatever reason people coming out of high school into undergraduate it's like math scared them calculus scared them and the reality is calculus was so simple and basic for me all right so I would tutor and how I would tutor you know you go to the library you set up to be a tutor people sign up with you all right and then you meet with them for one hour a week or twice a week whatever the case may be and you tutor them and it's one-on-one -on -one coaching all right and that that you can do online because of the technology that we have you could set up a Skype call with somebody one-on-one -on -one, which I do actually I offer one-on-one -on -one online marketing coaching all right so that is something that if you're interested in you just go to hillarydefratus.com all right and go underneath the services one-on-one -on -one online marketing coaching just as an FYI but that's something that you can do and it doesn't have to be in online marketing you could offer online one-on-one -on -one coaching in cake making or in any other area all right excuse the noise we've got so much construction going on today all right so that is what you know those are the five things just to summarize you've got online retailing you've got freelancing you've got affiliate marketing you've got blogging which I'll get into even further detail um, once you actually start setting up your blog all right this is something that's really important you've got to get your blog set up and everything and then the fifth thing the fifth way that a mom could make money online make earn a living online is online coaching or online tutoring as I like to call it all right so you know it's interesting because as a tutor if you're a math tutor for example you can offer that service online you set up your payment link you set your pricing they pay you online and then you'll meet at the designated time using Skype using Google using zoom whatever the case may be and very quickly you start to build up your base of clients all right whether they be repeat clients or new clients and then you are starting to earn a living and even surplus living all right that's when you want to start thinking about automating all right
that is for a totally different video so i hope you i know that these five tips you're going to be mulling over them thinking about them start with one and start building all right start with one start building on on what it is that you see for the future of your online business because right now you're probably thinking okay where do i start well you have to start somewhere which is going to train you and help you and teach you how to build everything else around online retailing is very easy if you've got something to sell jump on amazon and start selling or even ebay all right that's another great um avenue to build out your own online store that's going to require a little bit of understanding of the digital media world okay so for those of you who want to learn more about how to start your online marketing business all right you need to go to hillarydefreders.com forward slash emp and you learn everything that you need to know about how to set up and get that online marketing business going all right so have a great day and i will talk to you soon bye now